Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to thank you for another opportunity that you've given us to gather around. Lord, we ask that you'll be with this council tonight. We ask that you'll be with them for the duration going into 16. That you'll give them the wisdom and the courage to make the decisions that are in the best interest of the locality. Lord, we ask that you'll be with the members that are in attendance tonight. That you give them safe travels home. And we ask all this in your son's name. Amen. <coughs> Before we get started on the uh, special presentations and the, and the two gentlemen are not, the uh, one act play uh, from the THS cannot be here tonight uh, due to the fact that they called off school they can't attend another uh, meeting uh, activity. Uh, and they will be here in February. And also David Woodard uh, will be here in February. But before we get started, uh, 2016, the town of Hazel was embarking on the 150th anniversary uh, of being a charter town in the state of Virginia. And it's quite an honor to, to be able to serve as mayor and, and the people on our as council served during this time. We had many activities planned and uh, exciting times. But also, 2015 was pretty exciting for the town of Tasman. And just, uh, I'm going to go over a, a few things that uh, we actually did. Uh, we actually closed Kennedy uh, Rod Town Sewer Project. Uh, we got three hundred some thousand dollars for renovation of the train station. We're putting in new water meters in the town. We put the uh, Route 61 uh, bid out last month for two hundred two point six million dollars. Uh, we paid more than we have ever paid in the town of Tassel during the year. Uh, excess of $700,000. We upgraded the uh, water project uh, from the high school to the pump station, which will uh, eventually help the town of Pocahontas with water uh, in pump that way. We, we got new uh, police cruisers. We got uh, improvements in the uh, public works equipment. Uh, we've actually got a new welcome to town council sign uh, on the west end. We finished the uh, <coughs> kitchen the American Legion established the first uh, town of Castle IDA, and uh, we had we saved over a million dollars, almost a million dollars in grants, which includes Liberty and Shack. Uh, many of the activities we've had during the summer, uh, during the year, was the Spring Expo, uh, Back of the Dragon, we had the fireworks, Fourth of July, we had uh, cruise ends, uh, movies on Main Street, tractors and trucks, uh, Main Street moments, Castle County Fair. Celebration of Arts, Trunk or Treat, uh, the Veterans Day Parade, and, and, and the Christmas Parade. And all these were well attended, and uh, by far the activities later in the year was uh, with the Trunk or Treat, the Celebration of Arts, the Veterans Day Parade, and the Christmas Parade. It's the largest we've had in, in memory. <coughs> uh, <coughs> on a good note, we had mean, uh, a couple of grand openings. Uh, one of the bigger ones was the uh, Simmons equipment uh, from uh, Dogwood Road, uh, Dog Road uh, Klein and Bentley Associates. We had a relocation of, uh, between friends on Main Street last week. We had the uh, uh, New Virginia Benefits Office opened up on the, on the West End of Main Street. And also, <coughs> we celebrated the uh, helps Prince Valley Community Action celebrate their 50 years. <coughs> 2016 is it's going to be a, 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 a good new beginning for us. We got uh, plans. I think Irma has front porch restaurant uh, opening up in 2016. Also, uh, a couple weeks ago, Larry Davidson and Danny Addison with the Back of the Dragon uh, has uh, indicated they purchased some land on the west of Gaza for the Back of the Dragon Welcome Center. Uh, and in the train station, renovations will begin. And uh, with that, uh, many of the activities uh, around town uh, we have planned for the coming year. So as you can tell, uh, the town of Tassel is uh, moving forward and uh, hopefully we can uh, solve some of the problems that uh, faces us today. <coughs> and uh, uh, the, the decisions we make today probably affects us 20, 30 years down the road. <coughs> 
when I was doing a little bit of research, I went to town of Tazewell, I was looking up a history book, uh, and Terry will attest to this, uh, uh, Mr. Pendleton, and this, is, this actually happened in 1852 with, before the town of Tazewell, uh, which was at the end of Jeffersonville. And they talked about the economy, uh, this guy was, and he was talking about coal. And, and it says, coal exists everywhere, but so wood is so plentiful. It's not uh, it's used for fuel to any extent. Hence, no, no search has been made for it. Uh, the nearest uh, coal was discovered uh, about four miles from uh, Jeffersonville, which is the town of Tazewell. And uh, they didn't think it uh, existed in the headwaters or the Clinch River. But the big problem then, and sadly to say that NAW is announced closing of the offices in Bluefield today, that uh, they needed an outlet for the coal. And that happened about 30 years after this was written. So I uh, with the rubber. So, you know, times do, uh, it takes time to improve. And uh, as history kind of tests, uh, Tazel existed then and, and had problems then. And uh, we, we definitely have problems today. But uh, time will tell and we will solve those. And uh, we look forward to a, a going year. <coughs> Next on the agenda is uh, public comment. Is anybody signed up?
Do you have a second? I'll second. Any questions? Hearing none, call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Next is presentation project and activities report. Do I have a motion to accept to So moved. Second. Do I have any questions about those? Hearing none, call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Next on the agenda is town manager's update. Okay, uh, Mayor Route 61, uh, my office issued notice to proceed <coughs> actually uh, Friday, this past Friday, so that project hopefully within the next 30 days, uh, at least mobilization will take, take place. There's no change on Lincolnshire, Route 61, uh, the bridge, uh, on the North Cabin Steel target for uh, 2017. The water meter replacement, I think we've got in what, Don? 850. We've got 850 meters today that are all being read uh, within, uh, I don't know, maybe the aisle. So uh, pretty good. The rest of them are hand read. Uh, so that project is moving, moving forward with a good success. Um, the North Tavern update, I actually met uh, today uh, with uh, Reverend Blair and another gentleman. Uh, so uh, we've got a lot of plans, a lot of areas that we're going to be addressing, uh, both cosmetically. He's also going to email me back with some dates that we can meet with CPPD, Jim Baldwin, uh, come up and maybe we've got a planning grant. Uh, so we're really looking forward to uh, some of the changes we've had to place in that area. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Moving on to committee and the conference updates, planning commission, Councilman Mark. We met last Monday. Most of our time was spent on the comprehensive plan, which we hope to have done within another month. Presented uh, for public hearing and then waiting before the town council. We discussed some more of the houses in the town that needs to be looked at. I hope our Chris can get around to those and get them taken care of. That's about it. Next is the uh, train depot committee. The train station committee has several events uh, planned for holidays at the Sesame Centennial Year. So they just happen to fall that way. First of all, Barry Rakes, the architect for our building, is going to meet with the train station committee on Martin Luther King Day. That's Monday, January 18th. We're going to meet at 5.30 at the Historical Society. Anybody who would like to be a part of the train station committee and hear Mr. Rakes and, uh, uh, and talk to him and share with him our, our vision for the train station, he will be, he is the architect uh, that is uh, working with that project. And then the uh, train station committee will meet again on Groundhog Day, which is Tuesday, February 2nd. We'll meet at 6.30 that evening at the Historical Society again, and that will be for a fundraising committee members coming back and sharing what they've done in terms of the different ideas that came out of the first meeting uh, on doing some local fundraising for the project this way. January 18th, February 7th. Sound evening. I will do uh, Airport Authority. <coughs> this is a brand new item, so first of all, I want to know how many has not been to the Tampa County Airport. One. Three. Okay, four. <laughs> well, listen, you need to come up sometime. It's a beautiful thing, and it's a, it's a great asset to Tampa County, and it's the place where corporate businesses want to come in to visit. So it's a very important part. I talked to Leanne, and hopefully every time we advertise something, the airport is included. We just completed a very excellent year, 2015. We have uh, all of our hangars are full. We have 12 aircraft. And we have three major projects going on in 2016. One of them is the West End Drainage, which is a very important part of protecting the people down on the Graves Branch from floods, which has happened in the past. And that's a, a very expensive project, uh, funded three ways. And the widening of the turnarounds, when the airport was first built, it was built for small aircraft. Now we're having corporate jets in, more so than small aircraft. So we have to do some upgrades to take care of those guys. And uh, we're going to, where they turn around again, the runways has got to be enlarged and that's being done this year. The, the other project that we've got going on is called an environmental assessment for obstruction removal. And what this means is that uh, the airport is a pretty good size area, 200, uh, it's huge, uh, 200 some acres. But the, when you take off in a jet 
or your landing, and all the land out in front in a big fan has to be cleared so much based upon the angle of the approach to the airport. So we have to look at those things, which includes some private land. And sometimes we have to do uh, eminent domain and take take charge and cut trees. <coughs> and so that's uh, that's what we're looking at also is the number three project. These projects are funded by the FAA at 90%, the state at 8%, and the local government at 2%. So you can see we've got a $16 million airport down there with only 2% pretty much involved from the local folks. But if you've never been there, I invite you down. It's a great, uh, it's a great place. The most beautiful view in the evenings you've ever seen. Uh, it overlooks uh, Richlands and Cedar Bluff very well. And when we did a mountaintop removal to uh, get clearance into the runway, we've got a site there that could be developed in an outstanding uh, recreational site, which I've got approval from the FIA to do that, as long as I don't build anything over to the 10 feet tall. So a lot of things happen at the airport, but if you haven't been, uh, you need to come down and take a, a little tour, and uh, we'd be happy to give a, a tour. We do a lot of tours in the spring for school. You wouldn't believe how many schools come up there and, and do tours, but uh, I'm real proud of the airport, and uh, it's here to serve Tampa County. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, next on the agenda is unfinished business. <coughs> Town of uh, EMS payment update. That was done in uh, work session, Mary. That was also a discussion in the work session. The date that we come up with is July the 4th. Um, so, Irma, no. we, we will be had with a change of mind. We had two of us. Change of look at you. Sure. <laughs> that was that so, Irma, it will be on July the 4th. Uh, uh, so, uh, make your plan around the September plan or subsequent general plan. So, Yes, that's easy to get around. You're saying that it's going to be on the board? I'm sorry? Yes. It is going to be on the board, right? Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Next on the agenda is Dr. Gay, nomination. Okay. Um, if you recall from the last meeting, the meeting before that, after the nominations, uh, the name that we received was uh, Kevin Crisp. Um, uh, if you got some other ones, that's the one way. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. Have you contacted him? Not yet. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve Kevin Crisp. And have a motion to have a second. I second. Can we do that before we ask him if he wants to do it? He will want to do it. Well, we, we've done that. We've done that too, Chris. Uh, uh, a point somebody and somebody who's decided. Yeah, but they don't feel any pressure when you're under pressure. Who said the letter saying it? Council will nominate them, and then they'll see the letter saying it. We're seeing all the team. We're texting around now. Probably. All right. I have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Next is the board for some of the appeals nomination. Okay, the only recommendation mm -hmm. once again that I have to cancel with Anthony Brewster. Uh, if there's any other reports, you can bring them up at the time. I assume he's missed. Is he going to be willing? Yes. <laughs> okay. That motion in effect. Uh, so moved. Second. That position is uh, nominated by town council but approved by the circuit court judge, so we will approve. We'll, we'll proceed with that. Uh, okay. Call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Good to have a new town resident at Walton. Okay, next on the agenda is the uh, Enterprise Zone Proposed Ordinance. <coughs> Under Title uh, 59 of the Code, there is an Enterprise Zone Act that basically allows for municipalities, including, of course, the counties and towns, to set up incentives, refunds, payments for local businesses, basically, for any town development type program. But to be involved with that, you have to have an enterprise zone ordinance, which the town does not have. The county has basically, to the governor this past year, has an enterprise zone which has been designated within the county, which includes part of the town, certain locations in the town, Main Street being one, parts of North Tasman, four ways, and other. 
in order to be able to make those incentives available as soon as possible, you have to have your own zone, your enterprise zone ordinance in place. Uh, we're working in conjunction with the county. We need to do this today. In terms of these be before the 17th in order for these to be accepted through what programs the Virginia government had in place. And it's working in hand, hand in hand with the county's ordinance if they have also adopted theirs just for actually amended, repealed and amended, amended and redid theirs just last week. So what you have before you in your packet is a fairly lengthy uh, new uh, Article 5 or Chapter 10 of our finance taxation section of our code. Uh, it basically covers four different incentive programs that you basically recommended for adoption back in May, which was first proposed. Those would be a re rehabilitated real estate tax exemption, a meals tax incentive, a lodging tax incentive, and business license fee abatement. They're all three-year programs. They're all set up to deal with primarily with new businesses with the exception of the rehabilitated group, real estate tax exemption. Uh, there are again three-year incentive programs. They are revenue neutral. They're not new taxes. They're basically refund incentive. Those four that are there. Uh, I think it would be appropriate for the council if you wanted to make a recommendation. We can, if anyone in the public wants to hear this read, Go through and read it tonight. It is 14 pages long, single space. What not recommend? No, I think we should all hear Brad. Never mind. <laughs> you can do that and you can act on that. There's a second component we need to be picked with as well. So, you know, I'll make a motion that we approve the ordinance. First of all, we got to finish. Oh, we got to vote on it. We got to vote on it. Okay. Any other comments? You're done. Call for a vote. All the members say aye. 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 Second component to that, in terms of the timing of this, uh, in dealing with the county, the county board supervisors, and their economic development director, Mark Thompson, we need to pass this as soon as possible. So, in order to do that, at least we can have a vote tonight on passing it as an emergency order so we can take it next week. We approve it. Thanks. Any other comments? Hear none, call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Here. Coupled with this, in order for this act, for this new ordinance to work, you have to have a funding agency to make it happen. And doing that, of course, the town, as the mayor of the Prince of Earlier, revamped Industrial Economic Development Authority is basically IEDA is the one entity that can then work with the town in order to make these funding incentives a reality. In order to make that happen, of course, the IDA is not a revenue generating type of entity that the town has, it has to work with the town in order to work to fund it. What you also have in your packet is a funding agreement, which is basically a local incentive funding agreement, the majority of which was a lot of definitions. Uh, but the, the meat of it basically <coughs> states that the, the town will work with the IDA in working through its ordinance to provide funds for these revenue incentives in order to basically front the cost for purposes of these tax abatements or incentives to, do, to, to then be repaid basically back by uh, revenues that are generated by the individual businesses after the, the uh, incentive program John's back. So in order to make this a reality, you also need to basically pass the funding agreement, which I have in your packet. Again, I can go through and read it. Uh, it's not quite as long. It's only six pages as opposed to 15. But primarily what it does is it basically the town is recognizing the IDA's impact and involved with the incentive programming that you agree that when the time comes for any business to come to town that you will work with them in order to provide any necessary funding to be able to put them to uh, start the town. I make a motion that we dispense with the meeting. Second. Second. Any other comment? We have none. Call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Mr. Chair, thanks for your motion to adopt this as an emergency plan. No, basically, what's already going now is it's a funding agreement. Okay. You're basically wanting the manager to enter into the agreement with the IDA, both of them sign off on it, to basically allow the two of them to work together in order to make the enterprise zone ordinance function. Okay. I got a second. Got a second. Second. Any other discussion? 
Here, man, talk for about the whole federal side. All right. Uh, All right. Next on the agenda is the uh, new business, is the bills tax discussion. I 
probably will have a much better one. Any other discussion? You're done. Call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, next on the savings contract. Okay, we, uh, during the budget work session prior to the meeting, we discussed the contract uh, the same individual that did the enterprise zone uh, for the county. Uh, we are looking to do that outside of the enterprise zone, which would consist of our entire political jurisdiction. Uh, Council is well, well aware of the contract and details behind it. Um, more than happy to answer any questions you've got, but I would like to have that approved so that we can offer those incentives hang on the fly. Do you have motion to that take? Uh, Second, I make. We'll clarify and make sure that the uh, person we're awarded the contract to. What's his name? Tim. Tim. Any other motion to have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? You're not in call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, next is the uh, US, uh, public, uh, USDA public hearing. Okay. Uh, any more with. Uh, with federal money, we actually have to run an ad to take advantage of free money. Um, so every year, for the last <coughs> two years, we've been fortunate to pick up two cruisers. Uh, one year it was grand, another year it was 20 This year, in order to be competitive, uh, we are looking at an 80-20 match on the police cruisers. But I've got to run the ad in which you have got in order to obtain the free money in that capacity. Yeah. That's straight from USDA, by the way. Okay. So I have a motion to set a public hearing for USDA. So moved. Two seconds. Any other discussion? Your name call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion to uh, public hearing will be uh, the next meeting at 7 15. Next on the agenda is the Chamber Annual Commission Bank. Okay, each of you uh, may have been at the computer for now over the last week. You may not have, but the Chamber's got their annual event coming up and they've got a table. We can have a you know, table with our, I'm just needing a head count of council members. I know Chris Brown, I know Jerry Brown, is anybody else uh, planning on the camera? I should be there. You and your wife? Jerry, you and your wife, Chris, you and your wife. Yeah, my wife's out of town. Okay. We've got at least four cancer members in the south of the track. Okay. Okay. You're going to be asking them too, right? You're going to be asking them. Okay. okay. Uh, next on the agenda is uh, town council email addresses. Okay. Um, each one of you over the last couple of months, we've been working to try to obtain email addresses for cancel uh, so that the public can better communicate with cancel etc etc well, they are now set up but not functional you have them on the computer sitting in front of you uh, so hopefully in the next couple of days they'll be active i know that robin showed each one of you how to access them so we're still having some computer trouble with uh, you know, time to be a little bit there, so just bear with us as they come up and we'll advertise them uh, accordingly. Do they have listed on the website? Uh, yeah. Yes, they do. Okay. Next on the agenda is the Moly Services. Um, three years ago, the town bid out uh, Moly Services. Um, identification will give it a cancel, obviously, to show that bid it out to, uh, to the private sector was uh, financially more lucrative uh, for the, uh, the community. This is the last year that we can uh, offer that contract to uh, Jones Long Company. And next year we will have to bid it out and represent the cancer to, to offer it uh, to the third time. How much can I motion that effect? I'll make that motion. I'll oh, second it. Any other discussion? Here now, call for a vote. All the papers say aye. 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 Motion carried. Next on the agenda is the dual uh, of the French discussion. <coughs> Me. 
I've had several calls from a lot of people thanking us for the time that we put down next to the fort. Welcome to Passion. But I've also had a lot of comments about the sign out next to the pop shop that says Joel the Clinch. Number one, they don't know what it means. I don't know what it means either. I don't know whether any of you do or not. I don't like it. The sign very run down. I would like to see the sign removed. And if we keep it, I would like to see. It says, thank you for visiting Tazzle. Sitting right there next to the pop shop. The Tazzle way out on the other end of town. I think we're going to keep it. We need to move it out. Uh, to the other end of town since we've changed the town limit itself. But I think it's to a jewel of a cleanse. Uh, we could use something else. Town of Tavel, thank you for visiting. Whatever. And one side of it has the Lions Club, the Quantas Club, and all those. Signs on that looks nice. But the other side looks terrible. Let me give you an update on where we're at. Uh, right now, at RS, all three of those are at RS uh, in town here. We had them all redone. When we went back to mount on the frames that are out there, the frames were all heated up after 20 years. So we're going to completely redo the frames. And once again, the, the signs we have them professionally done are at RS to reinstall. Uh, so it's just another, you know, hurry up and wait deal. You know, so uh, the idea is to re replace the frames that are in three locations and then put the signs that have already been made on those frames. Now, the issue uh, that Jack's talking about is that, you know, since that we won't do anything at all. One well, you've got plans for the backup and this we're, we're going to redo the whole thing. We're going to completely redo. Whatever was there before is going to be again. It's already printed that way. It's going to be look. It's not yeah, it's going to look the same, but it's going to be fresh, new. I mean, Jack had an issue with the with the, logo, or the slogan, "Jewel the Clinch." It's already on there. Yes. Yeah. Whatever was there before is on the new. People just don't understand Jewel the Clinch. Well, I think they need a little history on that before we start changing the sign. Yeah. I mean, there might be some very good history there, and if well, there is, yes. then we should consider keeping it. You know, if you want to say, head of the clinch, I could understand that. Jewel of the clinch, I know where it came from. I wasn't on council, but I think there was a competition among the council. Somebody helped for a slug. That's where it came from. They had several different possibilities. I can't recall how they actually went about in terms of the actual selection process, but it wasn't just like it was some arbitrary that came up with uh, I don't know how they decided, but I do know there were several submitted because I submitted some slogans that didn't get accepted. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, and I will tap with the head of the clinch. Yeah, and I can understand the head of the clinch. It's the nicest nice town of the clinch, too. It's the yeah. jewel. It's a play on words, jewel denial. It's the jewel that's denial. exactly where it probably got yeah. probably. I think that's probably. But it, at the same time, the sign that it was done before the town expanded. The sign so you're saying push, push it push it back somewhere else? else? Yeah, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Now you know, out there in that triangle as you go out of town would be good for it. So you just want to relocate. It's not what it says. Well, and take the jewel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well, once again, what was originally done? So um, we, we've we've this already this had we already had it made, yeah, and we're so ready to put it up as soon as. Well, this is down here is not so bad. It's almost only ten minutes. But it's it it's says the same thing. Yeah. Like There's actually four. Yes. Yeah. Just as soon as the public works gets a new frame, we're going to put the signs. But if you want to change, yeah. I no. would. We 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 can probably leave them like they are, but let's do move this one out here. Okay. <laughs> also, while we're moving that out there, let's get the east end 
460 sound like on the west end. Oh, yeah. Let's, get in. <laughs> Let's get it in there in the sesquicentennial. <laughs> Okay. Hey, maybe before we actually get his money in on the rescue squad before we do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, a couple of things on the sign on agenda is we have a resolution for uh I'll read it's a resolution for proposed Clinch River uh, State Park. We actually did this three years ago, uh, but uh they want to let us go to uh, Richmond next week and uh, it's actually trying to get the uh, Cabot's Creek as a state park and here's the resolution for us that Clinch River is the national North America's most biological diverse river in Baltimore. More rare and endangered species than any other body of water in and whereas the Clinch River Valley initiative has done the most work promoting and preserving the Clinch River for recreational use. And whereas the data collected and nationwide suggest state parks are the Cabot's Creek and development in the region surrounding them. And whereas the region of Southwest Virginia is, is in desperate need of economic development catalyst to replace quickly the disappearing coal jobs, and whereas Cabot's Creek's Park sets on the headwaters of Clinch, Clinch River and Tasman County to serve as a first lady of the proposed Clinch River State Park, but let it be resolved that the town of Tassel, the town council supports the efforts to name Cabot's Creek Park as the first lady of Clinch River State Park, and let it, let it be resolved that now the council, the town council supports efforts of the Prince River initiative to see a screening of Pearl's concept of the state park development from the headwaters to the NC State Line adopted on this day. But I hear a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. I have a second. Second. Any other discussion? I'd like to make a comment and add a historical note. The first state parks in the state of Virginia, seven of them were created when a gentleman by the name of George C. Perry was the governor of Virginia. It's about time his home county had a state park. Amen. Maybe I'll put that in the rest of the Maybe you should. Let's do that. <laughs> <That's too bad. laughs> we add that to that, okay. Make the motion you amend it to be with him. I so moved. Can you use it for that time you just used? Yes, I do. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to amend it. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any additions to this resolution? If not, if you're not talk for a vote, all in favor say aye. 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 Also, uh, uh, I failed to mention here in the Texas uh, State of Town of Tesla that uh, the, the rescue squad has received a grant uh, for a new rescue squad. Uh, uh, the, the
think they need to vote on some areas, uh, contact with more fields and and uh, um, we'll see if we can't get them to vote on uh, uh, areas for us at this end. If you're nothing else, but I can vote everybody to adjourn. Right, no, 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 no,